I'm going to show you how to organize a notebook. Now we want to be as organized as possible and just use one thing. So we're going to use a three ring binder. So you need to buy a three ring binder. Everything goes inside of the three ring binder. So here's your one, two, three ring binder. Secondly, you want a place to put all of your writing materials. So you need a binder pencil pouch. And in my binder pencil pouch, I have all of my pencils. I have a highlighter and I have my different colored pens for taking notes. Okay. Second thing you need is you need clear sheet protectors. Okay, that's these. Because you will need them to put uh, organized loose sheets of paper. So if you have, you have these kinds of paper, you want to not just stuff them in there or put them in here. You actually want a good place to um, put them in. So those are good for the loose paper. Then you will need the binder index dividers, and that's these. Okay. And for this uh, binder, I have one, two, three, four, four sections, four sections, so you need four of them. And the last thing that you need is, of course, lined paper. And like paper, you use it to take your notes and um, do your vocabulary work and anything that you need for the day. Okay, so let's look at the binder. What goes first? So I always put my pencil pouch first. It has all of my materials easy, um, um, easy to find in the front. The first thing I put is definitely in the, in the um, organizers. Uh, in the clear sheet protectors, I put my syllabus because the syllabus has my teacher's email and the phone number, the hours that she's available. Also, she has her my schedule. I have my schedule for my class and any important dates. Like for example, I want to know if I have homework. Well, here I have homework every Monday. What is it? Vocabulary. So the syllabus goes in the front. It's very important. Also, the syllabus is important because it gives you dates of tests. Like we have a midterm, December 1st, and also a midterm, the final on May 22nd. And then we also have a speaking test, December 1st through the 10th, and May 13th through the 22nd. So I need to know that that helps me get organized with my dates and my study time. Uh, next, I'm going to need those um, those binder index dividers, and this is where you really organize your papers. So you have to have places where you put everything. So the first place is I put all of my exercises. That's my sentences or questions that I copy from the board, any work my teacher needs me to do, any writing work, I put it in my first part. So I put it in, I write, exercises exercises and this is where I copy things from the board when I come in class if I have a morning class at 8 a.m. I write the date and I start here this is the first thing I see in my class when my class begins I see the date and what are we going to do today so today the lesson is this is called the agenda Okay, so I copy the agenda. I copy everything we're going to do in the agenda. Okay. Then I copy my warm-up and I answer my questions. So here are my questions and then I answer my first name is. Okay, etc. The second part of my um, book is where I put my grammar notes, okay? 
so this usually is at the last part of my class maybe for you it's the first part of your class I don't know how you begin your class but it is where your teacher tells you about the grammar rules of the language and you copy the, the what you're studying that day at the very very top make sure you always write the date and then you start to ex write copy the the sentences or questions uh, from the board on your on your notes on your lined paper so this is where I, I like to have different color different color pens because it helps me remember things like if I always put the auxiliary in red I know this is a very important part of a question um, okay so also I, I write in Spanish in my book I, habits habitos if my teacher translate something I write my in my own language in my notebook lo que se hace todos los días that is exactly this this definition here and in my own native language which is Spanish okay I write continue write in my own language in my notes okay and I keep writing in different colors because it really helps me remember I always put my verbs words of action I always put them in green verb verb okay the next section is work it is my vocabulary now we talked about a vocabulary organizing your vocabulary how to memorize verbs and you should use a vocabulary a notebook you can use it inside of here so you base verbs are eat cook bake study clean and they you add ing and they become progressive verbs so that's the lesson that I'm doing here and I'm gonna write them five times so my homework is in this book and the last section is my handouts and that's where I have all of those papers that my teacher gives me I put them in